This video is to show you how to set up the integration between your site join and your auto account system. At this point of time, you should already install the plugin for your auto account and you should be able to find this Unicard Plus button on the top of the menu. Click on it and select Server Settings. For the type, select Site Giant. As for the secret key, you will need to log in to your Site Giant. Go into Settings, API, copy the secret key by clicking on this button here. Go back into your auto account and paste the secret key into the column. For the store email, go back into your Site Giant. Go into Settings and select General. From there, copy the customer email, return to the server settings and paste in the store email. Once you have the secret key and the store email, you can click on the Get Token button. Once the token is generated, you can then click on Test Connectivity. Ensure that the connection is successful. After that, you will need to decide on a cutoff date. Please be reminded that all the orders before the selected cutoff date will not be shown in AutoCount for the syncing. Once you have done all this, you can then click on the Save button to save the server settings. Next, we will need to go back into Unicard Plus and select Settings. From here, we will need to set up the invoice numbering format. If you want to follow the invoice format from AutoCount, you can select Follow AutoCount. Or if you want to follow the invoice format from SiteGen, you can then select Follow Unicard. The next settings will be the product mapping. For Unicard field, which is also SiteGen field, select SKU. As for the item field, select item and select item code. As for the default code, you can click on this drop down button from here and select the default item. If you haven't created the default item, you can go into stock, click on stock item maintenance and create the default item from here. Next, let us go into the order summary code tab. From here, you will need to create the entry for shipping, voucher and etc. Then link it to the related item code. If you do not have the item code for shipping, voucher and so on, you can create them from stock, stock item maintenance. For demo purposes, I will create a new entry for discount. Click on this plus button and type in the wording for discount. Click on the drop down button for item code and select the item code that I created for discount. Next, click into channel as we are going to link the channels inside channel to the adapter accounts in AutoCount. You can click on the plus button. From there, click on the drop down button for the channel and you can select the channel that you want to link to. Next, you will need to select the adapter code for this account. Then you will need to select the invoice number format and also the payment method. And most importantly, the checkbox for is active will need to be marked. Besides that, you can also enable the auto knock off function and the auto sync quantity function. Once all is done, click on save. To sync the orders from site gen into auto count, click on the Unicard Plus button and select order sync. From there, you can select the date range and select the channel. If you leave the channel empty, by default, it will sync all the available channels. Once you have selected the date range and the channel, you can click on the button Inquiry. Then the system will fetch all of the orders from SiteGiant and show it over here in your auto account. Let's have a quick look at the top right section here for product mapping. From here, you can see how many products from the orders fetch are using the default product code. And if we click into show product view, we can see which product from which order are using the default product code. To fix this, you can add in the product code into stock item maintenance and after that, the system will be able to match your product from SiteGen to the item in AutoCount. After clicking on Inquiry, the orders will be showing up here. We can expand it and have a look into the order details. We can select the orders that we want to sync or click on Check All or Uncheck All. After selecting the orders that you want to sync, you can click on Confirm. The system will then sync over all these orders and create an invoice in AutoCount. Once the orders has been posted successfully, you can see the status here will be updated to Posted. To receive payment, you will just need to go into Accounts Receivable and select Receive Payment. From there, click on New and you will need to select the adapter. Once you have selected the adapter, all of the orders that have yet to be knocked off will be listed. And if you want to use the Bulk Knock Off function, you will need to have a spreadsheet ready, have the order ID or the marketplace order ID listed and also the statement amount for each of the order. Copy the data from here, go back into Auto Count, click on Bulk Knock Off. If you are matching using the order ID from SiteGen, select order ID. And if you are matching using the marketplace order ID, select marketplace ID. Then click paste from clipboard. Then all of the orders earlier from the spreadsheet will be pasted in. If the order amount and the statement amount are the same, they will be matched. 
and if there are differences you will see the variants from there you will need to click on the action button and select which action you want to take once you have made your selection click on confirm once done you will need to select the payment method enter the payment amount and if everything is good you can then click on save and if we go back into accounts receivable receive payment we can see that the orders earlier has been knocked off so this is all about the auto count integration with site join thank you for watching the video